Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the second part of Getaway to Arabic 1 or Book 1. Al-Arabiya, Miftah al-Arabiya or Bawabat al-Arabiya. So, inshallah, we're going through Seen today. Seen is easier letter. All my students could pronounce the letter Seen properly. Actually, this letter is already exists in the language, so no problem in the pronunciation of the letter. Seen got three teeth. One, two, three. Okay? So, seen has three teeth like that and it hasn't got any dots. One, two, and the third one you follow by a big boo. Like this one. Seen. One, two, three. Three teeth and no dots. Seen has a unique shape. Only one letter looks like seen, which is sheen. Sheen has three teeth as well and three dots. Seen has three teeth and no dots. So we are now writing the letter seen. I made mistake, but I have rubber. Lucky I am. Three teeth, one, two, three, and big bow, scene. Okay, now we're going to start without, could you see here, the, could you see here the arrow, show you how to write down C. So you're going to start from the right hand side, scene, you're going to write it in your own. Hold your pencil now and go through the letter scene in your own without any dots. Seen. This is correct way of writing as well. The teeth or the space between teeth could be a little bit um, smaller, not that big. This is correct as well. But it's the most important thing is you keep the teeth are three, not less than that. Not two, not one. Seen. So you could write it like this as well. Seen. Okay, so go through, fill all the lines with the letter seen before going to the next one, which is sheen. So the letter sheen, exactly the same writing of letter seen, but has three dots on the top. Sheen. Sh, sh, sheen. Three teeth, three dots. This is the letter sheen. One, two, three. Three teeth. And then three dots. Sheen. Sheen. I hope you hold your pencil now and writing or go through this sheen together with me. Sheen here, there is no any dots, you're going to write it in your own. Sheen. 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 Okay. Now you go through the all lines with Sheen. And uh, before going to the next one. After the letter seen or after the letter sheen, there is sod. Sod is a big scene. Se, so. Okay? Sod is a big scene. 
when you pronounce sin deeply you will get so when you pronounce sa deeply you will get so so sin is a or she or sod is a big scene okay sod Let's check how to write down salt together. Here you are. Could you see here? There is a guide for writing salt. Salt. Sorry, this mistake here. You go through the dots first, and the salt has one teeth. Actually, this program not helping me a lot to write down a proper letters. I'm doing my best just to show you from where or how to write the letters. Okay, please hold your pencil and try to write with me the letter sod. I prefer to write in your own, actually, not follow the dots. So this is the line here, no dots, you just go through the letter sod, like that. Sod. Sod. This is the letter salt. Salt. Okay. So, inshallah, you could control your pen better than me to write down the letter. Sod. Now let's go to the next letter which is Bald. The letter Dod exactly the same way writing of Sod, but we add one dot on the top with the letter Bald. Let's check. Bald, the same way writing of sod, with one, just add one dot on the top. And the dot is a big del. If you want to pron pronounce del deeply, you will get bo. De, bo. Okay. Let's use the pen. Bald, you write exactly. The same like salt, just you add one dot on the top. Bald. Some students pronounce this letter when they come to me and they got a little background about the letter. They say pronounce it zod. No, it's bald, not zod. Bald. The big del is bald. This is bald. Exactly the same way of writing like of sod, but you just add one dot on the top. 
Okay, now we finish writing on the dots. Now we go through, you're going to write on your own. Starting from the right hand side, as we learn in the Arabic, in the Arabic uh, writing. Bald. Again. I hope you got your pencil now and go through the lines. Bold. Okay, try to fill the all lines with the letter dot and then go through the next line, uh, next letter, which is po. Ta in the, the, the first part of writing uh, salt and the dot exactly like ta or ta exactly like the way the first part of writing in the salt and dot but there is no bow you just add stick on the top could you see here you're going to do like you starting with salt and the dot but don't write the bow don't write this the last this teeth you just go through or add one stick on the this letter Let's check how to do that together. So you go through like you're going to write sod like that. Um looks or I, I can imagine that I'm writing sod, but I'm not going down. I will stop here and just add the stick. Okay, so it becomes po. Po is the big te. If you want to pronounce te deeply, you will get po. Okay, so there is big difference between te, two dots, and po. Po, you should pronounce it deeply. Te should be pronounced slightly, and you will find your face a little bit smile when you pronounce the letter te. Now you're going to write in your own the letter PO. This is the last ta of my writing. You carry on, you do pulls and carry on, fill all the lines with the letter ta before going to the next letter, which is va. Va is exactly written the same like ta. You just add one dot on the top, like the letter bald with sa. They both look looks like each other, you just add dot on the top. So va when I start to write the letter va it looks like I'm writing bald. Okay? I'm looks like writing bald. Look like look I'm now going through bald letter with the writing with my pen. It looks like bald. Okay, but I'll stop here, okay? No bow, no teeth. I just add the stick and add the dot. So it becomes va. Va, you're going to show a little piece of tongue out. You will stick a little bit your tongue out with the, with the letter va. And va is a big za. When you pronounce za deeply, you will get at the end the letter or the pronunciation of Vo. Ze. Vo. So what I mean? What is the meaning of of ze? Which one I mean? Which one I'm talking about? Ze is this one looks like raw, 
and has one dot on the top. Z. Va. I'm going to write it now in your, in my own. Okay, this is va. No dots. So start write the letter va using your pencil. Va. 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 Okay. Now go through the line with the letter va before moving to the next letter, which is ayn. Ayn, we said before while we are while I'm writing Hamza on the top of Alif, Hamza looks like Ayn. This means that Ayn looks like Hamza. Okay, so I'm going to write Ayn now, starting like I'm writing Hamza, but I will not stop, I will make the tail longer below the line. So it looks like I'm writing Hamza, like that. Okay. In the Hamza, I will stop here, okay? But with Ayn, I'm going down under the line, big half circle. Ayn, Ayn. There is big difference between Ayn and Ayn. Don't pronounce Ayn like Hamza. Don't pronounce Ayn like Alif. Don't say Ayn. Say Ayn, Aa, Aa. Okay, this is the letter Ayn. Ayn, one of the really hard letters that my students a little bit suffer to pronounce it properly, and when they read quickly, they pronounce it Hamza instead of Ayn. So try to practice. Okay, try to practice. Try to press with your finger in your, uh, in your throat. Okay, for on your top throat or and try to get ayn, get the proper ayn till you get the proper ayn it needs a little bit some practice okay so this is ayn we finish it go through the line now all the lines with the letter ayn and try to pronounce it properly pronounce it ayn okay now the next letter is ghin ghin this letter actually mainly pronounced from the top of your mouth. Okay, so say gain, don't say gain. Gain is not correct. Gain, the pronunciation of gain, much easier than gain, but gain is the correct one. Gain is the correct pronunciation. So don't say gain, say gain. Gain. Exactly the same writing of Ayn, you just add a dot, one dot on the top. I lost my cursor again, I'll try to find it now. Yes, that's my cursor. Ayn exactly like Ayn, which is, looks like Hamza, you just add one dot on the top. It becomes now Ayn. This is now, I'm writing, this is Ayn. I added one top, it becomes Ghin. Ghin. Use my cursor again. Rain. Try to get the proper rain. Okay. Please don't say gain. Say rain. Okay. I 
I finished now you go through the all lines with line now let, now let's go to the next letter which is fa fa is very unique letter there is no letter actually looks like fa even qaf not like not, not looks like fa okay so fa is really nice funny letters it has it's like a circle stick in a boat okay so the first part is the circle and the second one is like the boat when you write the letter ba or ta or fa okay so there is a circle here with one dot on the top and then you start to make your boat okay start your make to make your boat and the add one dot on the top becomes fair fair okay fair there is a letter in english um, similar to the to fair which is f letter Fa. Now write in your own the letter fa. I will I now mix circle. Okay. And while you finish the circle, go through start your boot. Okay. Start your boot and add one dot on the top. You got now fa. Okay. Fa. Fair. Now fill the lines with the fair letter and then go through off. Off is a big calf. If you want to pronounce calf deeply, you will get off. Qaf is one of the unique letters as well. It's, there is no any letter similar to Qaf in the pronunciation or in the writing. So Qaf, it looks like circle and you go through a bow. Okay, not boat, bow like that. Qaf. Again, cough pronounce from the top of your mouth like ring, like ha. Okay, usually the deep letter is pronounced from this part of the mouth. Cough, cough. If you can't pronounce cough properly, try to practice. Try to keep saying cough, 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 till you get the proper cough at the end. Because if you pronounce cough, calf, you will get a different meaning. Wrong pronunciation give you wrong meaning. Cough. Cough. Fill all the lines again with the letter cough and then go through the next one. The next one is calf. Calf is a unique letter. No letter looks like calf. And what is in the middle is not Hamza. Okay? It's, it's written like that 
It looks like Hamza, but it's not Hamza. So you should pronounce Kaf properly. If you see an even letter looks like Hamza in the middle, you should pronounce it Kaf. Hamza comes only on the top of Alif or Waw or another letter looks like Ya, yeah, we call it Nabra. Not comes like this, Hamza, okay? So what you can see here in the middle is not Hamza. Kaf. Kaf. There is a big difference in, in the pronunciation between Kaf and the Qaf. Don't pronounce Kaf, Qaf, and don't pronounce Qaf, Kaf. Now, finish all the lines now, fill all the lines with the calf, before going to the next letter, which is Lamb. Lamb, I tell my students usually, especially the children, that lamb, it looks like the hand of umbrella, okay? Remember, when you hold your umbrella in the raining day, that you lo you hold the letter lamb. You are holding or you catching the letter lamb. So it looks like the hand of the umbrella. This is lamb, lamb. We pronounce it, or the pronunciation of the lamb, it's like the letter L in English. This is our L letter, lamb, lamb. Now finish all the lines with lamb and go to move to meme. The letter meme, one of the unique letters, there is no any other letter looks like meme. It's easy to write it. When you write it as a letter like this, individual letter, you just do like a letter ha or kha or jim. Okay? It's not really circle. And it got stick, this stick not on the top, it's under the line or below the line. Okay? Or you could you could say that you you are writing sod, okay, and you just add stick down so it becomes meme. Okay, this is the letter meme. And if you make the first part or this part like circle, it's no problem. It's correct meme as well. So meme, you is flexible letter, so you can write it even like circle, okay like exact circle so if you make a circle, complete circle like this and do the stick, this is correct meme as well, no problem with this at all okay. so this is correct meme when you write meme or when you want to join meme to the next letter so this circle, no stick, you move the stick and you just add this part and then join to the letter next, or the letter comes after you. Meme, letter. Now fill all the lines with meme before going to the next letter, which is noon. Noon. I told you before that some students mix between noon and del. There is big difference between noon and del. Could you see here how noon looks like? Noon looks like bo and one dot on the top. A bo and one dot on the top. 
how to write it. Inshallah, this should be easy for all of you. We are going to go through like half circle. Sorry. We are going through a half circle. Like this. Or like a bow, as I told you. And one dot on the top. That's it. Moon is a unique letter as well. No letters looks like moon as individual letter, but when you write or join it to the next letter, it looks like ba, ta, tha in the writing. In the writing. And one dot in the top. Now write moon in your own. You go through moon. Like that. Moon. Okay. Now fill again, fill the long lines with the letter moon before going to the next letter, which is wow. Oh, that's ha, not wow. Ha, inshallah, not hard. It looks like hard letter to write or complicated. It's not hard at all. Inshallah, you will see how to write down the letter ha with me. Ha looks like del. Look, you write down a proper del like that, okay? And then make this part longer and the circle inside it, okay? A circle inside this del. Okay, this is how to write down ha. Again, ha. Go through the letter ha is one of really easy letters. Hold your pencil and try to draw ha with me. Okay, now without dots, again looks like del, and inside del circle. Okay, you will get ha at the end. It will come below the line and the circle should be a little bit bigger, okay? And the del should cover the circle like this again. Ha. Let's do another line of ha. Okay, this is a different way of writing ha. All this writing is correct. Okay, it's not wrong. It's correct. Okay, ha. Now fill all the lines with the letter ha before going through the next letter, which should be wow then. Wow is easy. It's gathered between a circle and row. So we're going to write down wow, starting with a circle, and to go down below the line looks like like writing the letter ra. Here is wow, a circle, and then ra. Wow again. Circle and then raw. 
glitches. So you can give it gives you wow. Uh, so make sure that you write down wow uh, below the letter, okay? Not above or on the line on the letter, okay? So the the second part of wow uh, should be under the letter. Oh, sorry, under the line, not the letter. Wow. Now write in your own. Wow. 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 Okay, now fill all the lines with the letter Y well before going to the next letter. Yeah, in the last letter. It's easy, I think, for all of you. It's a bit, it looks like the letter S in English. A little bit, not exactly like S in the writing. The same way of writing, the same direction of writing, yeah, is it looks like S. So, yeah, written like this, okay. But the last part goes through down and up again above the line, and there is two dots below, yeah. Yeah, is the only letter that has two dots below. So whatever the shape of the letter you see has two dots below, so it should be yeah. Yeah, when you join it to another letter, okay, in the beginning or in the middle of the letter, in the where, uh, in the beginning or in the middle of the word, it looks like ba, ta, tha, and noon. Okay, it not looks like that. This is yeah when it comes at the end of the letter. Oh, sorry, at the end of the word. Okay, so yeah at the end of the word looks like that. But in the beginning and the middle should be different as we're going to learn uh, in after a few pages, inshallah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want someone ask you about something. I told him, yeah. Remember the letter or the pronunciation of the letter, yeah. Yeah, letter. Okay, now fill all the lines with the letter Yeah. Alhamdulillah, we finish all the letters now. We will stop in this part. Inshallah, next part we're going through the a different lesson. Let's check what it is. This is practice. Okay. Here is the complete Arabic alphabet. Can you read all of the letters? Now go through, revise all the letters, revise how the writing of these letters before going through this exercise. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.